Hey guys, Alex here, and this is my 1990 Honda Accord LX, which I'm restoring to its former glory. So I got this awesome new radio that came with an OEM CD player attached to it. As you can see, it works, but yeah, no sound. But whenever I toss in my old radio, it works just fine though. But now we got the problem narrowed down to the actual radio and not the vehicle itself. Let's jump into it and see if we can find anything, I don't know, exposed. And the next step is to check the wiring. Something like this can lead to a short by having a nick or exposed wire or cut wire. But besides the shrouding, I don't see any damage. The next thing to check is the pins. It could be bent, but from what I can see, it looks fine to me. Since we visually inspected everything and it seems tip top, I'm gonna open it up and see if anything's amiss. To move the CD player from the radio, it's pretty simple. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts. Right, next is the faceplate. There are two Phillips head screws on each side and tabs all around. Then you want to remove the buttons. They literally pull straight out. You might want to be careful around this step. It's an old car with old plastic and tabs will break, but it will go back on no problem. Since you got the buttons out already and all the knobs, might as well clean them up. Mine were pretty gnarly, as you can tell. All I did was get some simple dish soap, I let them soak for a couple minutes, and then I scrubbed them out with an old toothbrush I had. Now the faceplate's off, that was the hardest part. Now I just gotta remove all the screws. Just make sure you know the varying sizes of screws on which you take off, because they are different. So now that I got the whole unit off, here I'm visually inspecting to see if any capacitors are popped or if anything's amiss, like, I don't know, rust, corrosion, you know, all the stuff that wouldn't make something work. But from what I visually see, it was all perfectly fine. And the fun part is, after I removed the unit and took it apart, once you flip the unit around, I found this little message here. And from what I got, it needs a ground. So that little tiny device or plugging in that CD player. So I got to thinking, I actually got a bracket that came with the OEM CD player from the donor car. Perhaps that's the ground it needs to actually work. The problem though is that I bent the bracket trying to take it out of the donor car. So I got to thinking, I can grab some heavy gauge wire and try to use it as a ground for the actual CD player. But as usual for my testing and pure frustration, it didn't work. But on the upside, I figured out that little device actually makes the stereo work. And to be honest, it's more visually appealing than my old one. So I'm going to use this one with the old cubby hole that my original radio came with. And hopefully I can take the CD player to an, maybe an electrician or some type of I don't know, electronics guy to take a look over it. Because to be honest, yeah, it'd be easier to get an aftermarket stereo. I just like the whole appeal of having the original CD player. I can't tell you how hard it is to find an OEM one just like that and it's still working-ish. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's it. Hopefully this has helped out somebody. They've had the same issue or they're just looking at how to dissemble their old radio. Uh, this is Alex, signing out.